Yo, what up, world? This your boy Trey Chaney, better known as Pooh from the hit series The Wire. And I'm here chilling right now with my homeboy, Jeff Sauster, on the sausage.com. Yes, I'm a rapper, educated author, groundbreaking actor, full time father. Only thing I wanna do is show them how we ought to move. Sky is the limit, do anything you wanna do. And I put them on this earth. So even though it's tough, I know I gotta make it work. Giving it my all, still try to give more. I swear I would die for the one I live for. <laughs> um, well, actually, man, you know, me being the third, you know, in uh, in in Spanish, when you say unos dos tres, instead of my parents calling me Trace, they decided to go ahead and call me Trey. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm like you said, I'm the third. My my dad's a junior, and my grandfather's a senior. You know what I'm saying? So, that's where I got the name Trey from, it just stuck. You know, from a since I was born, and, and, and that's that's the name, you know, that it that, that the whole world goes with. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, I started off in the business as an R&B and hip-hop dancer, and um, a woman by the name of Linda Townsend, who's actually from Clinton, Maryland, one of the areas where I grew up at, she actually discovered me at a talent show that I was doing for, like, one of the local radio stations out here. And, um... You know, when when she discovered me, her she specialized in like getting actors work on TV shows and movies. So she just felt as though since I already had a dancing background that she wanted to submit me like my pictures and my resumes to different casting agencies to consider me for, you know, acting. Job. So that's how I was kind of like casted for the wire. That was actually my first audition that, that I was ever submitted for. You know, I auditioned for the wire as the character we Bay. But um, they didn't see that WeeBay had fit my description, so they just went on and casted me for the character Poop. And um, yeah, man, it was just a great experience. Do it, goddammit, if you're gonna... Well, after The Wire, man, I was just, you know, constantly on my grind. You know, um, I, I did understand that after the show, it, it was, it, it meant that I, I, I didn't have a, a acting gig at the time. But what I did was I just got focused, man. I wrote a book. You know, the name of the book is called The Truth You Can't Be Trained. It's on Amazon.com right now. You know, like uplifting the youth to really strive for their dreams as well as adults. And then I decided to... um introduce my hip-hop side to the world you know what i'm saying i wanted to um show the world that I, I can do music as well so it was it was sort of like me just being like a, a entrepreneur you know i wanted to show that side of me and now you have me as this this entrepreneur that that acts that uh that that's an author and and i do hip-hop music as well so that that was kind of like the journey i just had to get on my grind as if i was never you know, cast it for the wire ever. I had to like take it back to square one and just, you know, get out in them streets, man, with them flies and, and my product and, and just, you know, try my best to move as many units as I can. And it, and it started to work, you know, a lot of people started to catch on and, and now I'm able to, um, you know, I do this for a living. So it's, it's a constant grind on a daily basis. Well, fatherhood is, um, you know, it's definitely a record uh, stressing the importance of fathers being in their kids' life, you know, because the kids, they definitely are the future. And um, the way that that came about was me and my good buddy, Lamar Tyler, who actually directed the video. And big shout outs to Don Cox, who produced it. That's my company, Fire Drop Music. We, um, we came up with this concept because we were already talking about going on a fatherhood, like manhood tour. Just really to uplift the men in the different communities around the world to step up, whether it be for their families or whether it be for their kids. And uh, 
I just, you know, threw it out there that I wanted to create the theme song before we start going, you know, doing this tour. And, uh, you know, once we did that, you know, we Lamar shot the video. We actually shot the video like December 28th. We premiered it uh, January 4th. And the buzz that it received was just like some some great buzz, man. Like Essence.com picked it up. You know, um, a lot of blogs, even your blog. You know what I'm saying? Picked the joint up. And, and just from all the buzz that it was getting, um, you know, BT actually reached out to me. And they was like, yo, we want to build a show around your video as well as the guy Don Tripp. Um, the, the letter to my son video as well. So, I mean, at first it was just like a surreal moment. You know, I didn't know that Poop from the Wild was getting ready to get recognized for being a hip hop artist that's doing these positive type records. Well, um, like I said, man, I, I think it was just the people that, that wanted to see that type of positivity on big screen. So uh, that's how I came about. And right now, man, we, we pushing like almost 13,000 hits and, the the video has like legs of its own and uh it's just it's just a good look you know fatherhood is is picking up we're actually still planning <clears throat> the fatherhood tour right now so you know we, we we in the midst of that now well radical readers is actually a um it's a program i was approached by the maryland state educational association to partner with them well, due to the fact that my book, The Truth You Can't Betray, it's in the Prince George County Library Association system. And uh, they partnered with me in reference to this program, Radical Readers, to go around and do speaking engagements to uplift kids to read 30 minutes for 30 days. And, uh, you know, in the midst of us having a conversation about me doing that, I told them that I'm also a hip hop artist and I wanted to create the theme song. So I'm not really thinking that it was going to go to this type of level. You know, I created the song, you know, with my with my partner, Don Cox. We produced this record. And, um, man, when we premiered it for the Maryland State Education Association, they really were like, you know, this is the one. This is it. This is going to uplift the kids. And what made it so special was when it came time to do the video, I wanted to use my same crew. I wanted to use the same formula. So I called um, Lamar Tyler, and he was, he was kind of skeptical at first because, you know, I mean, we had success with fatherhood, but... You know, the people wanted to know what the follow-up was going to be to fatherhood. It's kind of hard when you when you come back with a, another single. And, and it's on the same lines of being positive. So Radical Readers, you know, when he heard the beat, he was like, man, we got the perfect, you know, we got the perfect treatment and concept for this video. And, and that's how I came about. What made it so special, I shot it at my middle school that I had graduated from in 95, Andrew Jackson Academy. And, um... You know, we shot the video on President's Day, uh, February 20th. The superintendent from uh, PG County, he approved it for us to shoot the video on the kids. With, you know, on the day where the kids were off, out of school. And um, we premiered the video February 27th. And, man, it's popping up everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's popping up all over the sites. We kicked off the Radical Readers Tour today at Spalding Branch Library. And um, it was a major thing, you know, uh, the county executive, the the, exec the county executive of Prince George County, Rashawn Baker, was there to, um, you know, just help us kick it off. Angie Ange from 93.9 WKOS. And we um, we just had fun, man. You know, we had like a pizza party for the kids and, and we just uplifted them on the importance of reading. And uh, it's that that's the plan with it. Um, I received, uh, some great advice from, man, there's so many different acts. Um, I'm trying to just get, I'm trying to get one person that I really sat down and I, and I really chatted with for a while. I chat, I chatted with Will Smith at the premiere of, um, Streets, the movie that's coming out this summer that I'm starring in with Meek Mills and uh, Gilly the Kid and Emilio Sparks. And this is back in July of 2011. And it was at the Charlie Mack uh, Celebrity Peace Weekend. And um, Will Smith, you know, we, we had a chance to, you know, sit down and chat. And he was just like, whatever you do in this business, just keep on pursuing your dream and, and continuing to, you know, really do this as if 
you you never had a shot. Like like you only get one shot. That that's that's really a true statement. And that was the advice that he gave me. And I and I think, you know, since running with that, I, I always do any project that I take on, I kinda like do it as if it's like my last chance and you know, the the biggest entertainer or the biggest biggest executive in the world is gonna see it. So I just give it a whole hundred and fifty percent. And and that was like sort of like like the advice that he gave to me. Well, um, you know, big shout outs to Chris Rock because I was actually, you know, discovered by him from him recognizing me from the wire. And um, you know, he gave me that cameo role in his uh in his film Head of State. And, you know, I had the chance of meeting Bernie Mac and it it was just a good experience. I mean, you know, when you're around legends like that, you like you just gotta sit there as if you were a sponge and soak all that stuff up. Because I mean, these guys that that's been in the business for a long time, they can really some of their work ethics can rub off on you. So and I, and I think that's what happens with me anytime I'm around major stars or major celebrities on that caliber. Um, I just learned to just keep that grind going, man, and, and keep that steady hustle and 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 just to stay passionate and stay cre- stay creating stuff. You know, that's all this business is about. You gotta you gotta be in with w- what's going on now, and you gotta create that that new that new era of whatever you got, whether it's acting, whether it's writing a book, or whether it's hip hop music. <laughs> wow um i got the movie streets coming out uh you can expect two tours it's, it's kind of crazy uh fatherhood we're putting a tour together for that right now and we're putting a radical readers tour together so that that's what we're doing now and um you know i got the fatherhood i mean i got the Streets movie coming out. I got um, Raising Wolves. That's coming out this summer. It was a, a movie that I shot in Baltimore. And, uh, you know, we're in the process right now working on this Jack of All Trades album. I don't, I got so much material. I don't know what songs are going to go on there. But right now, you know, it, I guess just a whole bunch of different appearances, man. I'm going to be popping up a lot of places in a lot of different cities and just really just motivating the people. My book is on uh, Amazon.com. So um, we're actually, you know, doing some stuff, some partnerships now with a couple of organizations to, to, you know, put together these book tours and all of that. So it's just constantly staying busy, constantly shooting videos. And anytime I got some exclusive stuff, I definitely, you'll be the first one in that. Trey Cheney, hey ladies, get up on my pogo. If not, you could bet your feet I'm rapping go go. Rapping on the lodo. Jake supply fire while Don prepared to roll up, so I'm always feeling higher. I'm gone. They tell me, hold up.